What's happening out there, Scully? A.D. Skinner's looking for you. Why doesn't he just call me? He doesn't know how to reach you, Mulder. I barely know how myself. What does he want, Scully? He wants to know if you've been watching someone called Tad O'Malley on the net. Apparently, he's reached out to us through the FBI. Well, hold on. I'm bringing him up. It comes down to this. It's a mainstream liberal media lying to you about life, liberty, and your God-given right to bear firearms. Why would I watch this jackass, Scully? Why would you do that to a brand new, very expensive remote? Because I lost my temper and it didn't work. Therefore, it's useless. Well, honey, when it comes to anything electronic, you're not exactly the best student. I am very smart. I had a 4.0 in college. How about you? I was almost that, despite my substantial time commitment to cheerleading. I thought we agreed not to bring up the cheerleading. Cheerleading in my college was cool. But football players were so jealous, they wouldn't even let me and my buddies, Trevor, Scotty, and Ling, go to their parties. No, no, it, it's not about the swearing. It's more about uh, the way that you uh, occasionally concentrate your enthusiasm on my buttocks. Oh, oh and don't get me wrong, I appreciate the sentiment. It's just that I, I have a rather sensitive posterior. <laughs> And uh, besides, it's making all the other guys jealous. No, say no more, you know? It takes guts to bring this up. Bing! You're okay. Okay. Ah. 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 <laughs> Whoa, what was that? It's like some sort of glitch. No, no, we, we call that a jump cut. Just indicates a missing piece of footage. Or time. If someone removed footage, where would it go? Outer space, I believe. Correct, Steve? Uh, no, it's not correct. But it's almost impossible to make footage disappear permanently. I've got it backed up on, like, a million different sources. Hey, Steve, can you, uh, can you bring up the footage from the day Danny almost got his face burned off? Yeah. Thanks. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 4 bring up your children in the discipline and instruction of the Lord oh I do hope she's a good Christian girl well if he's bringing her home it must be serious exactly it's my mom do you mind okay. all right save me some notes <laughs> Wow, your life sounds amazing. I'm really happy it worked out for you. You know, especially with the whole Tattler thing. <laughs> what? The Tattler? Wow. I haven't heard that in a long time. Who even was the Tattler? You. That's why I'm bringing it up. Oh, right. I remember now that I was misidentified as the Tattler. That's so funny. But I wasn't the Tattler, so I'm pretty sure you got this wrong. No, no, no. I think I got it. Hey, Eric, didn't people call Jake the Tattler? This is nuts. I don't lose stuff. You're the one who loses stuff. Hey, I don't lose things any more than anybody else. Really? Where's the blue bag, Frankie? It's not lost. We had it when we were at Disney World, and it's around here somewhere. Your keys, the checkbook, your sunglasses, the remote, the keys, the snack bag, your keys. Oh, and... Don't you say my car. Did you not lose your car? Okay, you promised we weren't going to bring that up again. I, I admit don't, it was stupid, but do we have to bring it? You want me to help you find your... Jack screwed me over is what happened. Told me last minute I wasn't going with him on lockdown tonight. Any reason? The only one he gave was he's the boss, but <laughs> it's because he's jealous. Worried I'm going to walk off with all the credit. Why is that? Because the episode we're doing tonight, the McLaren house, was my idea. I did all the research. Jack didn't even want to do the damn show. Why wouldn't Jack want to do a show about a haunted mansion in New York? That sounds like ratings gold. Jack's weird about New York. He was brought up here, but he's got some strange aversion to coming back. He tried to torpedo the whole thing, said he wouldn't be caught dead in that house. And you decided to prove him wrong. What? Um, may I ask what brought on this generosity? Yes, you may. I have a very special dinner date this evening with my estranged wife. You're reconciling. Things have been pretty good between us lately. We've been friendly. Beyond friendly, I've been asking her to go to Gerard's for months, and she's finally accepted. Wow, Gerard's. That's a surprisingly chic choice, Detective. That's where we had our first date. 
And back then it was a greasy spoon. I got diarrhea for a long while. They actually changed some health codes because of it, but new beginnings and all, you get the connection. Well, <laughs> I really, truly wish you the best, Carlton. Thank you. But maybe um, you should be a little cautious here. How so? Uh, you know, the whole digs in the basket, jumping with both feet thing. Yeah. Hey, you're a woman. Is it too early to bring up kids? Good thing we had a plan B ready. You smell like a peach meadow. That's the incense I use to set off the smoke detector. You didn't just pull the fire alarm? It's right there on the wall. Uh, that's a crime, Sean. I remain not culpable. I didn't set off the detector. The spoke did. Who burned the incense? I plead the fifth. Mm -hmm. Element, dimension, beetle. You can't plead Billy Preston. All right, what are we doing? Bring up the burnt buildings. OK. Here we are. Dude, all these buildings have SR next to them. 